setting up inverse kinematics. Okay, we have all the forward kinematics in place. We tested them and we also have all the replacement animation ready. We have the hands, feet, eyes and mouths in their respective pre-comps. Okay, now let's set up the inverse kinematics. One thing I want to do is have a background. For that, I will disable the transparency view and this gives me a black background. And if I go to composition menu, composition settings or pressing Ctrl K, I can change the background color. This color is not going to be rendered. It will just serve me to work better, okay? I click on the color to bring the background color dialog box and pick a dark gray so I am able to see the shoes of Brad. Wait, maybe a bit darker. I don't want it to have the same color as the background in After Effects. Okay, there. Now I see a big contrast between the background and the character. Great, now let's start setting up those inverse kinematics, shall we? The first thing we need is to open Duik version 15. Going to Window menu and selecting the Duik plugin uh, all the way at the bottom of this list. This brings up the Duik interface. Okay, we are all set. Let's just set up the inverse kinematics for the left hand first. I select the left hand and on the Duik panel, click on controllers, then just leave the settings as they are and click on create. This creates a controller. Okay, now let's set up the inverse kinematics really easy. Select the layers in this order, the left hand first, then hold control on your keyboard to select the forearm and arm. Then with control still held, I add the new controller for the left hand we created. Now release control, I go to the Duik panel and click on inverse kinematics and the IK button right here. Select the two layer IK goal and click on create. There, it's now all set. With the selection tool, instead of using the rotation tool, I use the selection tool and I can just move the controller and the hand moves super easy, you see? Very nice. Okay, I will repeat this process with the other parts of the body. I select the right hand, click on controllers from the Duik panel, then create. Then right hand, hold control to select the forearm, the arm, right hand controller at the top, click on the inverse kinematics, the IK, create. There! Super quick, super easy, perfect. Now let me hide the joints layer. Huh, I remember hiding it. Uh, we don't need it. I click on its visibility switch there. Okay, now I repeat the process with the feet. So I select the foot, then controllers, create. Select the left foot on the timeline, left foot, then hold control and click on left calf, left thigh, and controller, all the way to the top. IK for inverse kinematics, create. Let's test it. Okay, it worked. Yes. Now the right side. I select the right foot, controllers, create. Right foot on the timeline, hold control and select the right calf, right thigh, and controller at the top. The controller for the right foot. Then IK, create. Right on. It's super easy. Let's test it. Okay, it works. Perfect. Now we need two more controllers, okay? I select the head and create a controller for it. Then check this out. I will only select the upper torso, only that layer, and the controller for the head, only those two layers. Check this out. Then I click on the inverse kinematic on the Duik panel. Then look, I need the upper torso to have the function of look at. This is the only option. I will leave it as is, 
and click on create. What just happened? Okay, this is what happened. I can now move the torso easily. Very simple. I control the rotation super easy. Now I need the head to be able to rotate as this layer rotates. How do I do that? Just select the head from the timeline, hold control and click on the head controller. And on the Duik panel, click on IK goal. That's it, perfect. Now I can rotate the head with the rotation tool, you see? And also I can move the torso if I change the position of this controller. Very nice. We are almost done. We need to do one more thing. We need to set the inverse kinematics for the lower torso. I want it to follow the upper torso direction. Select the upper torso and click on controllers, create. Then I just select the lower torso at the bottom of the timeline all the way down. Hold control and click on the upper torso controller. I click on IK, that option is okay, create, there. Now I can move the lower torso easily. Okay, you might notice that the arms come apart when they stretch too far. You see that? You can leave it like that or you can fix it if you want. It's totally optional, I like to fix it. You can go to window menu and on the third quadrant, select Effects Controls. This opens a new panel beside the project panels. I had it already open, but now it's active. From there, with the controller selected, open the Stretch effect and the select Auto Stretch. There, I will do the same thing with the right arm and feet. Right arm, select it. Then go to stretch, disable auto stretch. Then the right foot, stretch, disable auto stretch. Left foot, stretch, disable auto stretch. And I think that's it, great. Now let me bring the left hand controller to its proper place, there. Okay, it's almost set. Now let's do one more thing, one more final thing, and we will have our character ready with all the inverse kinematics. A body controller. I select the hips, click on controllers, then create, and then just link the hips layer to that controller. Perfect, now this character is fully rigged with inverse kinematics. Wait. Hey, what's happening? I, I need to link the face. I forgot to do that on the last lesson. Let's do that real quick. Just select all the parts of the face, all those layers, and link them to the head. Okay, there, they are now linked. Now I just want to zoom in and reposition them a bit. I think, yeah, I think there looks fine. I can always go back and change things a bit if I want. I will leave it like this. I can move his body around and put him in any position I want. Super easy, you see? Great. All right. This can be all you need if you are working in very simple animations. But if you want to take your rig to the next level, you can stick around and learn how to set up the replacement animation so you can change the hands, the feet, the eyes and mouth, okay? Great, see you in the next lesson in which we will prepare this character with switch layers.